I'm talking about our first piece of gaming news. This is about uh, Amazon. I'm not exactly sure what does Amazon Games produce, though. Games they got Throne and Liberty. Oh no, this ain't out yet. It's free to play. Okay. Uh, RPG. Say for so Lost Ark. Never heard of it. King of Meat. Coming soon. Okay. In development, they got something. Amazon Games and Maverick Games are collaborating on an original upcoming narrative leaving. I don't know none of that. Whatever that. Are they making a Tomb Raider? Okay. And they making a Lord of the Rings game. Mm -hmm. Say hello, great. Nah, get out of here, bro. I'm going to ban you. Oh, okay. So, I don't know. I never heard of many of their games. Uh, so, I guess this this is all their games that they have, their studio made. Like, that's what they got. I guess. But anyway, we got some news, man, for y'all about Amazon, bro. And they canceling games. Uh, Blue Protocol abrupt shutdown is bad for fans and maybe worse for Amazon. So apparently, I think this was a Japanese exclusive game. If you've never heard of Blue, Co Blue ah, if you've never heard of Blue Protocol, you're actually one of the lucky ones. Okay, I, I'm trying. Okay, Bandai Namco anime massive multiplayer online role playing game, which launched in Japan in 2023. Yo, what a dub has had plenty of players eager for its worldwide release, but now that day will never come. The publisher announced this week that Blue Protocol is canceling the game's global launch and winding down service in Japan on January 18, 2025. Oh, man. For a project that once looked promising, looked like a promising challenger to Genshin Impact's throne, the cancellation is a crushing blow to potential players and the latest and a string of failures for a co-publisher Amazon. So yeah, that yeah, that was like Amazon been loose. But this game looks good. Okay, so I played Genshin Impact and I did like it. But uh Kickbox Crate Facts. I did like it, but then as you start progressing and playing that game more, you realize it's more of a pay to win game. But then I was like, okay, I'm gonna leave this alone. So I wonder if that was the case with with it, but because Japan's culture is different, though, you know what I'm saying? Like they be into this stuff for real, for real. But the game does look good. We wanted to deliver an experience that is like stepping into the world of anime, and we have been challenging ourselves to create a world where each and every player can enjoy adventures as the main character of the anime. Bandai Namco said in a blog post, we have worked hard to prepare the release. However, we have come to the conclusion that it will not be possible to provide a service that satisfies all of you. So how? Blue Protocol was originally expected to launch worldwide. 2023, a date that was announced on stage at the game Awards 2022 season back. I had little to say about the game worldwide audience as it worked to get the game into shape after its Japanese launch. Back in June, the developers told, excuse me, Fitzman, the game was struggling to retain players. Okay, so that's okay. Team says is working on the identity where players were falling off and addressing the issue. Huh. Okay, it's not clear what happened between. Then and now to convince Bandai Namco that the game was unsalvageable. Okay, well, if they, what well, seems doesn't make make a world. I mean, that could potentially bring new players, but also what sense does it make to bring it worldwide if you're already losing players? Then that comes as a shock to players anticipating Blue Protocol's worldwide release. Bandai be taking all the anime games, prospective players of the game, server that have been expressing their dismay. In the day since the shutdown was revealed, even asking about the possibility of private searches are launching a petition to save it. While Blue Protocol may not be widely known in the mainstream gaming audience, it has built a substantial following amongst more plugged into the MMO scene. I'm not really into MMOs like that. 
Along with Bandai's Neko promise to transport players into the world of anime, Blue Protocol was also seen as something of a competitor to Genshin Impact. Both the live service games with fast-paced action combat and a clear anime influence in their art style. Fans worldwide have been eager following the game's progress for years, and from outside, its combat and gorgeous world look quite compelling. Japan's players who've already gotten their hands on the game have been more reason have even more reason to be upset. In the video release only in Japan, Bandai Netcut explained that players won't receive any refund for money they spent oh man, on Rose or the game's premium currency according to Siliconra. Those who stick around to the bitter end will get heaps of free Rose Orbs for their trophies, <laughs> free access. To his latest battle pass, man. Y'all, <laughs> I'm ready to play Spark and Zero though. Isn't that already out? On my trip, man. When they come out. Are you talking about? Are you talking about this? Okay, okay. I ain't had no interest in playing it for real, but um. Blue Protocols canceled marks yet another stumble for Amazon Games. A multiplayer brawler called Breakaway was canceled in 2018. Yeah, I, I remember that. Um, in 2020, its multiplayer shooter Crucible was released, then pulled back into open beta and utterly unproceeded move before being canceled shortly after. Remember that? Yeah, the <laughs> publisher Lord of the Rings MMR it was canceled in 2020. Oh my goodness, but it's now at work on different Lord of the Ring MMO, okay, <laughs> which doesn't yet have a release date. New World, yet another MMO RPG launched in 2021, meddling reviews, and little interest, though it's set to get a console release under the name New World this year with a short in the upcoming Secret Level TV series. All of those console projects may be Blue Protocol that stings the most given that it had already launched and gone a minute yeah it's <laughs> that shit finna be one of the good guys this year what's up eli yeah i get what they saying like if they losing people over there on the game already then yeah what sense would it make for us to push it but also that could be the reason that you don't have many players because it's only in japan so release it worldwide to different people in different audiences and it may just uh bring the game back and make it alive again isn't Genshin impact is going good isn't Genshin impact a worldwide game like that game i haven't heard people talk about it lately but i still see people playing it that game is doing fine for the most part so yeah, it, of course you're not going to have, if it's only in Japan, and they've pretty much all played it since 2023, they've all been playing it, some of them did move on to other games, and then also, you only have it in Japan, make it a worldwide release, and then have it everywhere, and you might, and you, that game probably, probably will hold its weight and hold itself up, but y'all haven't released it to any other parts of the world. So why shut it down when you can release it to more parts of the world? You'll probably make more money. The game will probably gain more traction and just do better overall. That's crazy. Yeah, they shoot, they, it's like shooting yourself in the foot. Yeah, but if you don't have the means to produce it worldwide, then that's a different story. But you should be able to, because I'm I'm thinking this is digital only. You don't have any physical. Most everything is digital only. You should be able to push this game worldwide and um get a lot of people talking about it and playing it. I just don't. I, it's just me, bro. I don't know. It is what it is. But I, it's Amazon. They they cancel a lot of stuff. <laughs> All right, let's move on from that, man. 